Hello YouTube and welcome to part 3. Alright, this time we're going to be giving a little bit of functionality now to our list view. As you see, it goes to a different page and these ones just don't do anything. I just haven't made links for them to go anywhere. So that's what we're going to be working on today. First things first, we're going to have to create a class within the list view so it knows where to look to whenever the selections tapped. So we're going to go with item tapped equals on tapped. All right. So on tapped is going to be our method name. So you're going to want to head into the CS of the page and we're going to go below public main page. Which should be this one. Go below it. We're going to go with public void actually we'll go with the private let's we'll go with the void void on tapped we're going to need an object sender and an item tapped argument event we'll just call that e curly braces so inside of here what we want to do is we want to actually get the sender so we're going to create a variable We'll just call it selected equals e, which is the item tapped event argument dot item, and retrieve it as a list view template. That thing that we created. Semicolon. Now, just to make sure that this is working and responding with the corresponding items that we're selecting, we're just going to create a display alert item tapped is going to be the title if this is confusing just hang in there we'll get to some easier stuff just we gotta set up the little bit harder stuff first and we're going to type in selected if I can spell it right dot name because now we are accessing the list view template. So we have name, and we were, we've retrieved the selected item that we've tapped. So selected.name, and then the OK button. I'm just going to type OK. Semicolon. Now run this. Once the app loaded up, just give them a tap. Item tapped four, item tapped three, two. Perfect. So now we can stop, stop that. Now getting into the different navigations, we need different pages. So go up to your portable project and then add new item, form XAML. We'll just call this labels. Labels is open, so click the arrow and open up the CS as well. We won't need it, but we'll just put this over here just to have it. Now go back into the main page, XAML.CS, and we're going to have to edit the on tapped again. Another thing I noticed that we will fix is whenever the item is selected, actually stays highlighted. We do not want that. So I will show you a fix for that too. Alright, so now the main challenge is knowing which one of them is tapped and then assigning a task separately for each one. So we're going to take out our display alert and we are going to create a switch. Now we are going to switch between the selected dot order number which as you remember is an integer from our template and it just goes one two three four so selected order number curly braces we're going to create case one break it case two break it case three break it and those are colons after case 
and the number and those are semicolons after break so make sure you don't get those confused and the fourth case now an extra tag that we have to add onto the on tapped is called a sync and we will actually have to make the method synchronous so first case we're going to type await navigation dot push a sync and then new labels just like that I don't know what it changed but it changed something for us let's compare that to your own code I guess now you'll notice that the rest of these don't do anything we'll add that at a later time now go into app.cs and we're actually going to have to remove the main page and we're going to have to create a new navigation page new main page just like that now we can actually go into the labels.saml take out this label that they put in here and we can we will add a title just call it label example all right save everything and run it all right here it is and as you can see I forgot to tell you how to get this orange glow to go away but if you tap on one you move to the next page label examples then we can go back and this will also work on the Windows platform as well and iOS so we just go up here change it to Windows run it on my local machine and same thing two three four doesn't work one label examples so to remove that glow we're going to have to go into main page under on tapped now we're going to have to set the selected item as null so we're going to have to cast list view cast sender as a list view dot selected item equals null now that should have fixed our problem alright perfect see it turns orange and then it goes back to normal because your finger isn't just staying on the button alright I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching